hey lovelies welcome to my channel my name is joy in today's video we are going to be making this hydrating ginger leave-in conditioner this ginger leave-in conditioner is very beneficial if you have a dry frizzy or dull hair to make the leave-in conditioner we are going to be using 80 grams of ginger i'm going to add this to a blender and blend with 400 grams of water just to get the ginger juice ginger provides some natural conditioning benefits to help improve the look and feel of the hair ginger boosts blood circulation to the scalp and as a result ginger stimulates hair growth and strengthens the hair roots and follicles ginger also contains powerful antimicrobial and antiseptic properties that prevent dandruff and keep the scalp clean blend the ginger root properly after blending i like to just pour it over this strainer I don't press out the excess ginger juice from the strainer because I don't want any debris in the ginger juice I already got. And here is our ginger juice. This ginger juice is already packed with awesome benefits that will keep our hair and scalp nourished and growing like crazy. Now for the leave-in conditioner recipe, I measured out 150 grams of ginger juice and into that I'm going to add 15 grams of glycerin. Glycerin is a powerful humectant and emollient that will help to draw moisture into our hair strands keeping it moisturized for longer moving over to the fat phase here i have 15 grams of btms 25. btms is what gives that powdery and soft feel you get from creams lotions and conditioners this btms 25 has three functions in this recipe it acts as a conditioning agent as an emulsifier to bind the water and oil phase together in order that they will not separate you know water and oil cannot mix it also acts as a thickener next we are going to add 10 grams of mango butter mango butter has natural emollient properties that help to keep the hair soft and manageable it helps to condition the hair and prevent damage next we are going to be adding 10 grams of olive oil olive oil has the ability to penetrate the hair strands nourishing it from the inside it also makes the hair soft and manageable it adds healthy shine and luster to hair so that's it for our fat phase i wanted to keep the recipe simple straightforward but effective now i'm going to cover the decals or cups with aluminum foil so that the contents will not evaporate and then i'm going to transfer to heat I'm going to heat this up until the butters and fats are completely melted and the liquids are around 70 degrees Celsius. And then I'm going to remove the cover and then gradually add the oil phase into the water phase while whisking vigorously. You can see the immediate change as you start adding the oil into the water phase. It turns cloudy immediately. And that's because of that emulsifier in there is already starting to, you know, bind the water and fat phases together. I like to mix the ingredients while still on heat. And then after whisking it for a while, I'll then take it out from heat and whisk it for a while as well off heat and then go in with immersion blender. Here I'm going in now with immersion blender to give it a thorough mixing to make sure that everything homogenizes nicely. Just blend it until everything looks a little bit thick and milky. You can see it has turned really milky here, but I'll still give it a nice blend to make sure everything is nicely homogenized. Look at that. You can see how milky is already looking. This is to show that it has homogenized nicely i can see it has thickened up a little bit it's still hot here so it's liquidy so i'm going to let it sit on the counter until it cools for a bit i left it to cool to around 40 degrees celsius and as you guys can see it has thickened up nicely look at that creamy living conditioner guys this conditioner is so good it was so moisturizing now moving on to the cool down phase i'm going to now measure two grams of the preservative i used yoga 221 and into that i added vitamin e one gram of vitamin e and then i'm going in to add some essential oil here i'm adding tea tree oil and peppermint oil Wash it all. now mix everything together properly and guys it's very important for this phase before you add this final ingredients you no know, preservatives and 
you know, vitamin E and, you know, essential oils and just generally things you want to add during the cool down phase, please make sure that your product has cooled down and it's just warm to the touch just to make sure that nothing destabilizes your product. Next, I'm going to check the pH when we need to make sure that the pH is around the range that is safe for our hair and scalp. So I usually like my pH to be around 5 and 6 for conditioners to measure for the ph of the product add two grams of the ginger living conditioner into eight grams of water mix it very well and then dip your ph strip or whatever gadget you want to use for your ph as you guys can see it is at five which is okay so no need for any adjustment so i'm going to transfer my products now into my jar since i don't need to do anything else guys this living conditioner is so wonderful it is especially great if you have dry and frizzy hair or if you have dull hair and i formulated it in a way that it will not weigh your hair down in case you have thin hair it will help to make your hair grow thicker but it will not weigh your thin hair down here i'm going ahead to label my product with the name and manufacturing date so that i'll know when it will expire this product is good for six to eight months for the application guys my hair is freshly washed and slightly damp right here i'm going to moisturize it first because i want to put it in a protective style so i'm pairing the ginger living conditioner with ginger pomade guys this combination is everything and of course i have a video of the ginger pomade here on my channel i'll leave the link in the description box in case you're interested guys this combination is awesome this is everything you need for hair care as per usual i went in first with the ginger living conditioner i just applied it all over the section of hair i'm working with you know just apply that and work it in real wood and then i'll go in with the ginger pomade guys this ginger living conditioner is everything like it made my hair so soft and manageable and this ginger pomade in combination of the ginger living conditioner guys as well is the dream like this is everything you need for hair care so after applying the ginger living conditioner and the pomade i went ahead to detangle my hair with a white tooth comb and then pick little sections of hair to twist down twist is always my favorite go-to protective hairstyle because it's so easy to do and i can always unravel it to wear a twist out if i want to wear my hair out so it makes things easy for me guys the softness and shine i got with this product is on another level my hair felt super healthy shiny and soft so what i did was for each section of hair i make four twists so i just divide it into two and each half i divide into two so for each section of hair i make four twists guys in case if you like grease for your hair but you feel some type of way to use for petroleum product this ginger pomade i'm using is without petroleum so it's very healthy for your hair i don't really have anything against petroleum products like um, blue magic and stuff i even still have them in my stash i still use them once in a while but in case if you are trying to avoid petroleum product or petrolatum which i don't think anything is wrong with them but in case you just want to know all natural products that you are comfortable with this ginger pomade is excellent for that and now my twist is done i wore this twist for about one week and i decided to unravel it and wear it as a twist out as you guys can see right here i'm going in to unravel it um i couldn't find my ginger pomade i think ivy misplaced it so i'm using another pomade to work with i'm working with carrot pomade right here to help me you know lubricate my hands while unraveling the twist so that my hair will not be too frizzy Although I wore the twist too long that I couldn't avoid freeze anyway. But you know, applying some lubricants on your hand, even some oil or grease, usually make things look better than they would have turned out if you don't use any products. So I went ahead to unravel all the twists, you know, separate them somewhat. And then I'm going in now to slightly lift my roots with the white tooth comb and manipulate the hair and shape it the way I want it to be. If you have watched up to this point, please please like the video so that youtube can recommend it to people that may be interested in this kind of content and also subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already thank you doing a little length check here guys my hair is growing if you want to know how to make the ginger pomade click on this side of the screen to see how to so that's it for today's video guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe bye see you in my next video